Hi everyone, this is Gail, Baba of Four. Um, I showed you a few flowers yesterday that I made and said I would show you when I was done. And a couple people had asked me, so let me tell you right now, I don't do well with tutorials because I don't, I call myself a Jerry Rigger. If it doesn't work, I'll figure a way to make it work, whether I have the right stuff or not. And um, so I'm not that uh, precise. But this is what it ended up being. The girl that does my nails, the little Vietnamese girl, she's always so sweet. And she told me one day her favorite color was purple. And then I looked and everything on her desk was purple. So the other day, and I'll try to put the, the descriptions underneath. Um, I did a, I watched a video and there was a tutorial and I made this little flower. The girl did it with wire. And it was just about putting your little scraps on there and then doing the wire. Oh, there we go again. And then I watched another one, the same one Jeanette did a tutorial for the other day. And um, it's with scraps and you use a needle and thread. And then at the end you, you know, um, sew them together. But I, I, I didn't do very well with that. Um, I made one that was worse than this, but that's kind of what I ended up with. And I put this on the back. Not that it's terrible, but it took me forever because I, or maybe this was probably the first one. I kept getting confused when I was trying to sew it together. Now that's me because I'm confused easily. So what I tried to do was put both of those together and make my own combination. So what I did was, I just now made this one. I was gonna see if I should put something uh, in the middle. I used a piece of wire. Um, I don't know what gauge this is, but I think it's like 20. And then I tried it with another gauge. But the tip has to be pointy. So I tried to cut it with my cutters to a point. And then I didn't know what else to do, so I took out a brick. And I kind of went like this, if you can see me, and tried to kind of get a point off of it. I think they usually use a pumice stone or there's some other classy way, but it worked for me. Now on these, you could either, you could, you could double it or make it single. You could do it this way. I used my pinking shears here. You could do it this way. And then sometimes I'd forget and I'd do one piece one way, one piece another way, but I made it work. And this was the first one I did. And then this was the second one. I used that, um, I have some different colors of this stuff I bought. And then I took a, it wasn't a doily, but it was a piece of an applique. And I sprayed it a little bit purple. And then I put this in the middle from one of my, from this actually, right here. And then I did this one with just one color, uh, except at the end. Then at the end I put this on it and that. The thing is, I didn't cut them straight, I didn't do it the same way, I didn't do anything probably the right way. But I think they all came out pretty nice. Now I'm trying to figure out if I should put something in the middle. I used my um, stiffy, the one, not the spray, I don't like that one. And I took this piece of a lace trim and I wrapped it around the bottle. I had found this purple bottle somewhere of this vase and that's why I bought it for. 
But I thought, you know me, I just can't give someone a vase. So I did that. I put this bling on it. I tied a ribbon and put that on it. So it's simple yet. But if you could see the way I put these in there, you would laugh. And you really can't see it. What I did was I put the, I put the wire through these hard straws that I have that go to these cups. But now don't because they don't have any straws. <laughs> and I just stuck the wire right in it. Because then, see, I can bend them different ways if I want to. So I did that with all of them. I, I ran out of those straws, so this one was just a regular old straw the kids use. I wrapped one with washi tape. One was green anyway, so I didn't do anything with that. And, well, you can see some, can you see some of the washi tape here? Yeah, pretty weird, huh? I only had two washi tapes. I never used them before. So then I took some of these little flowers that I had bought one day on sale at Michael's and I kind of glued these flowers, I mean these leaves, on the back. And so, that's what I have. And I think it looks pretty cute. Now I was, I didn't know whether to just leave three or to put five, because you don't want to have an even number. Because I do have, you know, like I said, I did this small one with this heavy wire because I thought I could, like, put that in there. But then I would have to make another, make another one. And I had some of these square little doilies, and I had put some violet paint or whatever on it. This was the one I used with the little scraps. And I cut up a million scraps, but it was just taking me forever. So... And I didn't do anything particular. I just, whatever worked, I stuck it in there. And then I could put something over it if I want to, but. So anyway, I wanted to see what you thought. If you thought, I was thinking of painting that a little purple or light, but I wasn't sure whether you, I had enough stuff. Okay, so I just made this one. I just made it out of, I have a material that has two different colors on each side, so. And then I put this little bit of stuff in the middle and I'll put it, well, I don't know what else I'll do with it, but I made it. I just made this one. I was trying different things. This was just white, and what I did was I glued a piece of this bluish ribbon. Somebody sent me, I can't think of who. Since I can't remember my name most of the time. No, that's the back. Here's the front. And I had some of this, and it's got a little curly stuff to it. I bought this at um, for a couple dollars at that bargain box. Um, and I see, what all it is is these different color scarf things, and it said Claire's on there, and I don't know if you all have a Claire's, but that's where it was from. So this one I did where you had this, rim, so you can see the rim. Um, so I'll decide what to do to finish that one. So this is what I did. All I did was take a piece of wire, longer than this, but this was just for sample. And I made my, I tried to cut it with, on an angle, and, I, and then I did this to make it sharper. Okay, so we'll just do this. I used my pinking shears just for the heck of it. Now you could either, like I said, do it this way. And it doesn't matter if it's, mine's not straight, you can see. And sometimes I'll put like one side taller just so I have to remember in my mind how it's going to be when it goes on to the wire and I scrunch it up. Okay, if I want the tips to show, especially if they have something nice on it like this bendable stuff, I'll put that at the top. But I'm going to do this one this way. To be honest with you, when I started making one, I tried to remember what Jeanette did. I couldn't remember, so I thought, of course, I didn't have the patience to 
I'll go back on low cell. I just did it my own way. Uh, maybe I didn't get it sharp enough. There we go. And I did it any which way I wanted. However big it came out, um, little ones, big ones, I will tell you that I didn't. If I got crooked, I left it crooked. About the easiest thing I've ever done and I remember when I watched the one girl do it I thought wow that's easy and I'd never worked with wires or anything before but you know me I try everything so I have made a little jewelry and charms and See, this one's getting crooked, so I'll just bring it down. Okay. So now I'll push this down. But see, on here I could tell better where this part is. And the sewing part, I was all discombobulated because they were all such tiny pieces. Okay, then let's say I want to put, um, I could, um, well, let's put this on. Certainly not cut correctly, but we'll do this. I can start anywhere. I start from the back. I'll get this. And I'm sure this will run out of video before I'm done. I'm still so excited over my... I woke up actually like shaking this morning. It's like, oh my God, another day I might get more Happy Mail. When it was my birthday, usually I just let things pass. It's like it's easier for me with the things that are going on just to ignore it. And for some reason, every holiday, I start to feel blah be weeks before, and I don't know whether it's just because or if it's because the holiday's coming. I mean, I don't feel any certain way. Like, I'm, you know, sad or anything. Then what I did to put that other stuff in the middle, let's see if I have a piece of this. Cut a piece of this off. Just for the heck of it. And this is about the easiest flower, as long as I can find everything. And you could kind of go like this. Probably the littler the better. The one that I did before had a little curve to them. And you can glue this in at the end if you want to. I probably have too much stuff on here because it's just going to be a little flower. So, All right. Then you decide what you want to put, what's going to be in the middle. Because if I do this, which is what I usually do, I just start turning the wire. Make sure I'll go the right way. See, the wire is kind of short on this one, so you can see. And you just turn it. Now, well, like I said, this one's kind of small. I just wanted to give you the idea. The more you put on, the more you push it on, the better it comes out. And I take it. And I just kind of stuck that in there. I didn't need that right now, but I just wanted to show you how it goes. Cut some of this junk off. It's like, there's nothing you can do to hurt it. Now this has this. Some of these, like this one has the folded edge. This has the raw edge. Um, this has both. Because I, I work too fast and then I can't think of what I'm doing. This side, whatever you put on and you twirl it, that tells you how it's going to turn out. See, this one's two colors of kind of purple. And that's kind of how I did this one. I don't know if we're getting a glare. I don't know if that's better or worse.
So that's my idea of a tutorial. Um, like I said, I just did this to, usually I do the wire about this long, or it depends. This one was pretty long. And the more you scrunch it up, you know, push it on the wire, the, big, the less big it'll be. And then I still have this. And I might put something on the back, I don't know. But I did buy these pearls the other day. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? Oh, I meant to tell you what I did on here. Did I tell you? I, tape, I glued this little bit of ribbon on because it was white and I... And I figured since you can't, really don't want to see that that much because I only did a little piece of it. I just wanted to get the color from it. And I don't know why I put that in there, but I thought it was nice. Okay. So then I could put this. I bought these the other day on sale at Michael's. It's kind of pretty. Um, for these purple ones, I had bought these purple. I thought I could kind of make the middle. I had these. I was thinking of putting this in there. What do you think? It's off a necklace I had. But it's kind of got the different colors in it. And I know how to do leaves and I could do all that stuff if I wanted to, but I'm I was trying to make it simple. This one, I actually I used a little spray stiffy. I put a little violet on it paint and then the next day it was pretty hard and I put that on the back like this one like I said this was from that the bottom part of this corset thing and it had some of those flowers in there so the thing is I run around grabbing stuff and doing stuff half downstairs half upstairs you should see my bed oh my gosh so I thought that was cute too. I don't think it was very bad. Um, now like I said, this was just to show you how to do it. You know, you don't need, a, you need all this junk on here. I need all my scissors sharpened. And then you could start at this end if you want to. Make sure it's off. And you just have to push that down better on the thing. It's just, just something different. And that's that. But let me know if you think three is enough. I know you can't do four, five maybe, and if I should put center in here, there's kind of a center there. If I should put something here, maybe put some of that dust on here, that angel dust or something. I know you can't see my face today because I look terrible. And it's funny though, when you do it this way, I kind of feel like I'm in the witness protection plan or something and you know nobody can see me. <laughs> And I use this brick, it says Ohio. I think Ohio was one of the first places in Dover that manufactured bricks. And um, I'll show you this. I was looking the other day, it says, this I sent to my um, ex-husband ex in Vietnam when he was there. Look at that here, do. I don't look anything like I do now, do I? I remember the photographer making me a nervous wreck. I think he was a little bit of a leech or lech. And he kept wanting me to lower my, oh, I was a nervous wreck. Of course I was only 19 or something. And then I thought I would show you these gigunda flowers I made when I first started that I don't have the vaguest idea what to do with. Look at this one. It's got candy on it. So, 
when you send in your card saying if you do the challenge, you know, things you like, you know, that's how I'm going to send the gifts, trying to see what people like for Happy Mail stuff. Look at this one. If you tell me you like Jagunda flowers, I'll send it to you. This one was some, I may have shown you this. I was making something for my granddaughter for a handle, and she decided she didn't want it, so I just twirled it around and tried to make some kind of flower out of it. But it's pretty huge, too. And these little flowers that I had gotten at the store, I put little doilies on the back. This, I don't know if I showed you, this was in one of those ones I forgot to send, I guess, to that shower. These are just the squares, and they're all um, it's actually from the kids' outfits. And I just made a little tiny flower out of that. Now what I do a lot of times, like I had this, and I didn't do anything with this. I just scrunched it up with my hands and put it on there. I've been trying to do a few yo-yo flowers. Would you believe I'm not that great at it? I did make a double one that had the batting in it. But sometimes I add too much stuff. And I don't know if I showed you this one either. I made this one day, just fooling around. Uh, the doilies and some scraps and then some pearls, bling and a flower. And I let these kind of hang down. I thought that was kind of pretty. Just when I think there can be another flower possibly that anybody could think of, somebody does. So, that is my, and I did use a little stronger wire on one of them, because I don't really have much wire, just whatever I have in there, because I had no idea what to do with it. I um, used what I could that would, I could get it to be uh, sharp on the end. And, uh. So tell me what you think. Do you think that's enough stuff on the bottom? Look how cute that curled up. I like that. You can push it down. I don't think I should put any color on that or anything. And this, I left enough of it out of the straw so I can move it. Any more ribbons? Let me know. I think that's it. That's more than enough, right? Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I started to do something. I had this really pretty brown material. I really like starting to like the different shades of browns and grays. Um, so, this, I hope this helps you. Like I said, it was just the idea of how to do it. Uh, every single pair. I keep buying more instead of getting it sharpened somewhere. And I wanted to ask you something, or I could get something and now I forget. Of course. You see, you could use this all in one color, and then you could do this and then have a longer wire, of course, and then put this color back on it, interchange it. Or you could use your small pieces like this, your scrap pieces. But those tiny pieces were just too hard for me. I, I spent all evening doing two flowers that looked like this. Not that it's that bad, I'll be able to use it for something, but I just couldn't seem to get it sewn in the right way. I hope all of you saw um, Ita's package yesterday, and I forgot to wear my green. I'm going to try to wear the color of, how does that look in there? Or a little pearl thing. 
somewhere. She's not a fancy person. Well, this she's not getting anyway. Um, but please, when you send me your card, like I said, it doesn't have to be an ATC, just some kind of card that tells your colors, what you like, what you don't like, so that I'll be able to send you if you participate. And I have to tell you, it's so exciting. In the beginning, I was kind of embarrassed. It's kind of like asking people, so I didn't go all out and saying too much. But now I'm really, really getting excited. And I'll tell anybody who asks me. I know um, Michelle, the mini scrapper, she's doing one too. And it's funny because we found out we're both from Cleveland. She still lives there. And we talked. And hopefully when I go up in a month or so, we'll get together. Because she's really a scrapaholic, I'll tell you. I'm going to have to send her to a, um, a CAA meeting, Craftic crafting anonymous <laughs> she always has something so I have to decide what to put in here maybe this I don't know let me know what you think if you have any comments oh this is that wire that I cut and used for that one I'll have to buy some things there must be some oh that's what I wanted to ask you I know I could use that green wrapping stuff they use at a florist ah uh, I didn't have any. And like I said, as long as it covers it all up, I'm not that particular. I know, but they're not going to know. Right? So, adios, amigos, and I will be back if I get any more. Happy Mail, Mother's Day Challenge. Um, it's so fun to see what all you guys make. And it's really been a godsend for me. It's just funny, it's just a fluke how it started last May with Jeanette's banner, Christmas in July uh, challenge. Don't ask me what did it. Some higher power was directing me because now I have all these friends and all these people and that I talk to and things to do that I like and whether other people in my family think I'm a little nutty or not, that's okay. But it keeps me busy. And I love doing it. I always did. And who would have thought this would have all come back and I'd be sending things to Greece and Ireland and Australia. and It's like I have a bunch of pen pals. So I, I really... I'm appreciative that God works in mysterious ways just when I need it. He doesn't answer us sometimes like we'd like, but that's probably for the best. Okay, have a good day, everybody. I will see you later. And I'm going to call today to try to make an appointment for my nails. You know, I had my nails done for 20 years, and then... Um, when things kind of went awry, I didn't really care about doing much. And then when I started this and I saw my nails on, I thought that's what made me do that. So that was a push right there because they looked pretty bad. So it's worth it if it gets me out and gets me doing something. I might put something back here. I don't know. See, you can't even see those straws. Little glue goes a long way. Okay, friends. Bye. From Fava of Four.